Okay, so now we have the assembly with the fluid and the uh, solid joined together. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, I'm going to save this first. I'm going to save it as a um, assembly first. In case I want to make changes to it later on, and that's just kind of helpful, maybe if I want to make changes to it. But I don't think we'll need to do that. Okay, so now I can go ahead and open up Workbench and I've already opened it up here. I'm going to create a new project. Uh, we're going to do uh, fluent fluid flow. It's going to be steady state. And got to import the geometry. Let's import. Now we're going to uh, import this the part, not the assembly. Okay. Click on that, click generate. You can see down here it's working. Okay, so now we finally have our um, plate and fluid inside of uh, the design modeler for ANSYS Workbench. Now what I'm going to do is just make sure Alright. Alright, so this is the uh, geometry. Now the next thing I'm going to do is close this and go into the meshing tool and update that for the mesh I'm going to do uh, default mesh I uh, haven't quite learned uh, the tools for making the mesh very efficient yet still uh, trying to learn that but the mesh that we're going to generate is going to be good enough for uh, for this example Okay, so now I can go in, click edit, it's going to open up the program. Okay, now here we are, we're going to go ahead and do a couple things here. One thing I want to make sure is that to do is that I'm going to assign um, the plate to be solid. Make sure this is a solid plate here. And then here, I think I might have. Come on. Yeah, 
I'm supposed to I'm supposed to click here and here we've got the uh, solid and fluid properties and make sure that the plate is solid you can down click here make sure that's solid and then for the fluid it's solid now but we want to change that to uh, fluid domain okay you need to do that let's click generate and make sure everything is you know up to date when we go back to workbench now um, what the heck is this okay let's go ahead and update that Okay, it's finished updating. Let's go back into the mesh. Okay. Now, now if we check here to make sure we've got a solid for the plate and then the fluid, yeah, it's labeled as fluid. All right, the next thing to do here in the meshing program is to go ahead and um, it's to go ahead and create your name selections. I'm not going to do any sizing, like I said. Um, I really should, but I'm not very good at it yet. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is create the name selections. Holding control key, clicking on the faces, this is going to represent um, the uh, top surface where the you know sun is radiating onto, radiating onto it and um, right click come down to here to create name selections click that name it okay navigate around to the back surface holding control key right clicking create name selection bottom surface. Now here's um, something else. If you're um, if you've got a more complex geometry you can go ahead and line it up like that. And 